I'm visiting the Creary Wetlands in Mandra, Western Australia, which is home to an abundance of bird life. The spectacular boardwalk allows bird watchers and nature lovers to explore this beautiful region. But all this walking is making me hungry, so let's go rustle up some tucker. So George, your people have been here for a long time, haven't they? A long, 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 long time. <laughs> 50,000 years of long time. Oh, okay. And, and this, this was an important part right here, wasn't it? Yes. This is Manjagunda. These days we also call it Manjura. Okay. But Manjagunda means meeting place of the heart. So George, if we were going to catch something here, what would be your favourite thing to catch at this time of year? Uh, the blue manna crab. We call it the carol. And the blue manna crab, you can do lots of uh, different types of cooking with it. Relations, including mum, sent all the kids out to catch the crabs because they wanted to sit on the edge and talk, get rid of us. <laughs> so we go out there. But the, the amazing thing about that is we have fun. Yeah. And we catch the crabs, we have a big feed of crabs, and everyone's happy. Now I'm going to catch some crabs a little later on, but right now I've got another little snack in mind that I can whip up in no time. I'm in Mandra, which is about 40-something minutes south of Perth on a good day. And you can have a look around. This is paradise. I've got beautiful water on this side, green grass underneath me here, and over there a whole lot of shops and eating places and some great cafes to get some food as well. Now, my mate George got me some local kangaroo, and believe me, it's delicious. So what I'll make for you today is my kangaroo K-Tel. Now, before you go riding in saying, Richo, that's not K-Tel, I'm putting my spin on it. And it starts with a fry pan here. I've got a very hot fry pan and I'll add some extra virgin olive oil, about two or three tablespoons. Now while that's warming up, it's a great time to throw my ginger in there. That'll start to simmer away nice and gently. Some shallots have been finely chopped as well, some garlic, and I've got plenty of chilli. This is going to be really, really red hot. And I'll get that simmering away. Just move it around like this. Now, while that's starting to simmer away, it's a good idea to add a little bit of salt to it. Just a little pinch of salt and some pepper. What I'm looking for is that little sizzle. And I don't want to caramelise it. I just want to keep it nice and sort of crunchy and have lots of flavour in there. Now, this kangaroo here is fantastic. It's actually kangaroo rum. And as you can tell, it's very, very lean. And the idea with kangaroo is to cook it very quickly. So you keep it nice and rare and keep that moisture in there. I'm going to add some of this curry paste to it. This is a red curry paste and it's got a great flavour and it will work really, really well with a kangaroo. Just a teaspoon of that and mix it around in the bowl here. Now while you're mixing it around like this, it's also a good time to add some salt to it. A little pinch on there will help to bring out that flavour. You can see this meat is really lean and really dark. It's got great flavour and then once you've got it mixed in, just pop it into the pan. You want to make sure that that kangaroo gets a really good sear. So with a wooden spoon, just spread it out. Now to give it some more flavour, I've got some of this chilli shrimp paste, which has an amazing flavour. About a tablespoon is all you need, right into the middle there like that, and that will help to sweeten up and give it a great flavour. And you can see how hot this pan is, it's sealing it off beautifully. And at this stage here, I'll throw in some of this cabbage. I like to use wombok, which is an Asian style of cabbage. It's nice and sweet, has a great colour, and breaks down beautifully. I love this cabbage. And I've got some rice noodles. Now, this is fresh rice noodles, and you can buy it in just about every single supermarket or deli. The trick with it is take it out of the packet and then pull it apart so it comes apart nice and easily. That'll go straight into the pan here like this. And while I'm doing this, I'll add a little bit more salt because I love salt in everything I cook. That's how you bring out the flavour. Some pepper as well, a good twist of that. And while that's coming together nicely, I'll just give that a bit of a toss. Now, at this stage here, I'll let this simmer for about a minute or so. I'll chop up some coriander, some Thai basil and some spring onion, and I reckon we'll be able to finish this off in no time. I reckon these kids are excited. What do you think? the spring onions, the Thai basil and the coriander. I love fresh herbs right at the end. It's really important to keep that fresh flavour. And in goes some soy sauce. A good couple of tablespoons of that in there. That will help to give it even more flavour. Then toss it around. One, two, three, four. Now I know this is going to have a really hot chilli taste, but I'm looking forward to it. Plate goes on here like this, and with a pair of tongs, you just grab the noodles out like that, straight on top there. 
These rice noodles cook really, really quickly and they're beautiful and soft as well. Now to finish it off, I like to use a little bit of this crispy fried garlic and deep fried shallot. Helps to give it some crunch and they're really easy to come by in any supermarket or Asian grocery store. It's always handy to have a pair of chopsticks close by when you're eating a dish like this. Now I'm ready to have a taste of this. Kangaroo, marinated in that red curry paste. That kangaroo rump is really tender and that curry paste has given it a nice little flavour. But you know what? I can really taste it. And I think the trick with that kangaroo is making sure short, sharp, quick cooking techniques work really well for it. And the noodles, mm. they sort of pick up the flavour of everything in there and they're beautiful and soft. I'd have to say this is a great dish. Really simple to put together on the banks of paradise. A bit of East meets West, I think it's a crack of a dish.